It was his last show. We beat the Raptors and then got beat down by the Bucks uh, by 13, but in a game that did not seem close. Third quarter was pretty close for, uh, for a little bit, uh, but didn't really feel close at all. After the game, Tobias Harris said, quote, I'm not watching the game on TV, but I can guarantee you saw a team that looked a little defeated out there from time to time in the game. That can't be us as the playoffs get ready to start. We all watched the game on TV, and we all saw what we saw. What did you guys think? Was it as bad as Tobias uh, is saying in uh, his post-game comments? I think part of it was like that. I wouldn't say the whole game was like that. Um, I do kind of feel like once they jumped on us, and it was, and then we kind of made a fight back, and they jumped on us again. It was sort of like, oh well, well we can't beat them. Day. Let's just just one of those games where you like, okay, it's just not our night. Let's just move on to the next one. I kind of got that feel. Um, but I also had that same feel when Boston beat Milwaukee <laughs> by 30 before then. Like I had the same feel, like it's just not our night. Let's just move on. So I I, I don't put much into it um as far as a carry over into the playoffs. I, I just think it was just one of those games where um team jumped on you and kind of had it had it going that day. If I have a concern for it, my concern is you've played them back to back at their place and they've jumped up to 15 plus point leagues in both games. Um that would be my concern. And and and, and why is that happening? Yeah. That is the I was just looking up. So that was the um second lowest amount of free throw attempts for Joel playing 30 or more minutes all season. What was first? Do you know do you know what that Yeah, it was um <laughs> Guess who? Boston Milwaukee. Boston? Uh, Are Milwaukee? Milwaukee? Milwaukee, when we played them the first week of the season, our second game. Was his second fewest? Was, was yeah, when, when playing 30 or more. Because he I mean, he had games where he played like 18 minutes or 22 minutes where he shot less than that. But I mean, that I mean, I can see why, because it's like one, um Milwaukee has some size and, and may play him a little more straight up. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, he wasn't he wasn't even trying to really Yeah, he don't him. really go and try to bully um Brooke Bro, for some reason. He doesn't. Um so I think he wasn't in the pain as much. He so was, it'll be interesting if we, you know, hopefully we play him in the conference finals. It'll be interesting to see if he challenges him a little more because it's it's almost like we we're more inclined to put Brooke in pick and roll instead of kind of let Joel post him up. Like he I, he faces up against him, and but not really post up. I haven't seen it a lot, which means that yeah. Brooks not gonna follow him on jump shots. He also settled a lot for threes. I noticed it was um because Brook because he's not gonna play up on him. He's gonna to a certain extent give him those shots. Um, and, you know, especially until he has it going on. That was a season high in three point attempts. Yeah. Because he's giving him, he's going to give him more looks. He's not, going, he's not going to really play him as tight, where Joel can get him off the dribble and attack downhill. Like he, he's going to give him a, a late contest using his height. Didn't he have three or did he? Didn't he have three or four threes in the last match with the one we won? Didn't he have three or four threes that he made? I could be wrong about the number on four though. I think. Against Milwaukee? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was three or five. Okay, so maybe he thought he had, you know, he could bring some of that magic back. I don't know. Well, I mean, yeah, I think it's the same thing. I think he just has the attempts, and he just didn't. He just made more of the last game, but he, okay. but he knows he's going to get those shots. That's that's what he knows. So if if he's not making them and he's taking all those shots, this is not going to be good for us. Yeah. Um, it looks like we just want the playoffs to start. That's what it looks like to me. Looks like they're just they're done. We're the three seed. Probably not going to lose a three seed. Let's just go. Um, you know they they played it tough, but I think like you said when they realized after the 
because they got down to like five, seven, a couple times, like three or four times, actually. And then they got it right back up to 12 or 13 again. Um, I think when they realized like, oh, this isn't going to be like last game where they just like let us come all the way back and tie it with like three minutes left. It was kind of like they just kind of lost that energy. Maybe that's what Tobias is talking about. Um, Another scary game from Harden. 11 and six. Two free throw attempts, I think. Yeah, I mean, I, that was interesting because I know that one time he had at one point during the game, maybe it was, I think it was the first half when he just had like back to back turnovers where I was like, oh, he just like threw it. And I was like, yeah, you know, what yeah. I'm like, that was a, like, you know, he's going to get that pass. It was like back to back. Drew was all over him in that game. Um, and he wasn't letting him do the whole like the underhanded bounce that he does. Yeah, I mean, he would make some. I don't think he. I think I he even think, like James. Not, James know he can score, but Drew makes him work. Um, and he, but he also Drew does make him concede at times. Meaning, instead of make he can have the ball out top and he'll just give it to someone else to make the play. Um, that doesn't help us. So, like I said, it's different playoffs. You know, it's, it's no more tomorrow if we're losing. So, maybe it'll be different now. I haven't seen them play them in the playoffs. I mean, it's different. That's the lowest free throw, uh, lowest field goal attempts for Harden since January 17th. Um, what game was that? He only shot nine times against Milwaukee. Uh, uh, Clippers. We actually we, we won that game by 10. But he had six and nine, only one of six from the field. Interesting. Um, so yeah, it's just another game. I'm kind of worried. I mean, he had a good game against Toronto. He looked like himself again, and then he came back, you know, and did that again. He looked he, he looked in Milwaukee how he looked the previous games before the Toronto game. Um, but eleven and six. That's I, I bet you that's his lowest assist point duo all season, most likely. Yeah. Um that's that's rough. Uh hopefully we look good the rest of the season. He can build off that. And he maybe he needs his rest. I, I, I don't know. But um he did, he did look good in that Toronto game though. He even he had that moment yeah. where he said, I'm still here. That was nice. That was that was it, it's always badass when like uh, one of the star players says does stuff like that, I'm back or like I'm still here. I, I love that stuff. <laughs> Why'd you leave? Well, it's still here. Where the hell did you go, dude? What, what, do, we, what do you mean? Coming back from his injury, dude. You know, give him some time. Yeah, then you fall up with that, huh? Great, cool. He's gone. He's gone again. Aaron, James Harden's out to lunch. Please leave a message. So, so besides the way Brook Lopez guards and uh, Bead for maybe that's the reason why he's not going to the free throw line. Is there also something too? Because Giannis has, that leads the league in field uh, free throws per ten, uh, for, per game. Is that something where the referee might hold their whistle one way if they're giving a lot of calls one way just to make the game not not stop the game flow as much as they're calling? Well, I guess you can always say that, but the one thing we know about Giannis, he's always attacking the rim. Yeah. Yep. So for him to, for him to go to the free throw line shouldn't shock people. Mm-hmm. He may get some questionable calls, but it's going to get some calls. You know, he, yeah. people going to have to try to step up and take some charges on. Him. <laughs> I do like to and do that. that. I do like he's not a good free throw shooter against us. I don't know why, but for some reason, he does not shoot well in free throws against us. So that's hey, look, that's good. But I also know when he put that 50 piece in the game six to win the championship, he made them. It's true. Yeah. He does. Yeah. He steps up in the playoffs and makes them. It's true. <laughs> so yeah. I'm not, I'm not counting on that for us <laughs> to win the game. We're going to have to go beat them. Other than that, looking at the game, I mean, it's weird. I was talking to Marks about it earlier. Like, there was no glaring place where it was like, oh, that's where happened. We 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 out rebounded them offensively. They out rebounded us defensively. They did have a lot more assists than us. Turnovers, we won that battle by one. Points off turnovers, we won that battle by seven. Fast break points are pretty even. Points in the paint are pretty even. Exact same amount of fouls. Um, they shot eight more free throws. That that makes a difference. Um, and yeah, I guess when Harden and, and MB combined for what, like six or seven or eight free throw attempts. That's usually what they get in one game. Think about that for a second. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, so 
they had 11 percentage points higher in field goal percentage. That that's that's the game. And what we talked about when we shoot under 50, percent we're basically a 500 team. So there you go. They shot over 50. We shot under 50. Good. Probably guess we're going to lose a lot of those games, right? So yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if we do play them in these, the, I guess in the Eastern Conference Finals, I guess based with the, with, with the way the seating's going up, um, it's going to be an interesting series. With two and two on the season, I know you can't really correlate, uh, you know, uh, playoffs and regular season together. But I mean, um, it'll be an interesting uh, series having Giannis and Embiid go against each other in a, a meaningful conference championship. Yeah, we got a ways before we can talk about that. This is true. This is true, Eric. <laughs> <laughs>